hi guys so welcome back to the second part of the of uh, the egg grooming series so uh in the first video if you have not seen the first video we created the uh the scalp for our grooming so in this part now we'll be working on creating our x gen air so um the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you have set your project folder you know where you want to where your character is located so you make sure that you even if you have set it before make sure you check before you start the x gen uh, because if you don't do that you might just start creating your air and everything is looking good but if your character is at one place and then the the group about the x gen is saving the file in another place there might be like a loop uh, uh, uh then some problems when you try to open your character again you might just see that your air is not there anymore you know so you need to make sure that you set the location so that XGN will know where your character is and you to know where you want to put uh, the air and stuff. So, um, so I'm going to be starting with my uh, head air. So I like to hide all the scalp. I like to put this uh, the air under a layer. I'll just call it uh, the air temp or something like that. Uh, okay, the air temp. I'll save it so i'll put it under uh template so that you can just see it like this it's unselectable so then at the same time i'm going to put my body on another layer so i'll call this one the body so i'll just lock it, it up so it's referenced and not uh so you, none of these things will be selectable so it can give you a very good uh, uh thing when you are doing your exit so the, the first one which is the head air so i'm going to show that one then i'm going to x gen uh the first one there which is create new description i'll click on it uh, i like my naming conversion very well so i'll say boda come on um add a uh, then description so you don't want it to be too long so but you need to uh, you need to have the names just in case your a file is missing or something so you'll be able to like find the, the file with the name so um i'm going to copy this under collection collection is actually the collective name for this particular air the you know the air that consists of the air the air the brow the body and and the beard and all that so it's the collection so all the description are basically under the collection so i'll say brother come on air collection so now this is going to be under this in you know in the folder where Maya is going to create the exit. So I um all this I, I like to like leave you know the primitives how they are going to be. I like to leave it here and then I like to leave this generate primitive uh, primitives where it is right now. The only thing I change basically is placing uh, and shaping the guide. So I want to have control on how I place my guide. So in other case you might want to use attribute to be controlling it, but I'm not really good in that aspect. So I've been placing and shaping the guys like for as long as I can remember. So once you have that, basically this is the only thing I change. We just go on to create. So Maya will probably do uh, one or two calculations and stuff, and then it will just bring you down here. So make sure that when you are selecting your um, scalp or something, make sure that you see all these uh, uh, pink thing here. Make sure you see all these things here. If you see them here, that means everything work the way you will want it to be but if it is not there you might need to go back and go and try and clean up your mesh or something like that so now this is where you know everything starts now so basically the density is uh the the how, how, how many uh edge strands you, you are probably going to have on the head so that's the density so i'm going to like explain as i go i would rather not be telling you what all these things does you know without giving an example of exactly what i'm talking about so the very first thing i do is i come to uh this place so this one is where you hide uh add the guide the guides that you are going to use to construct the air so you see this plus sign here it means i add guide. so once you click on this now it will activate your uh cursor you know for you to have something like this so i'm going to now start uh adding so um, i like to use the middle or uh, the mid part of the air so i'll add one here um i like to activate my wireframe on shader so that i will know where the, the middle is so this so you don't really want to know how it's going to be for now you just add you know and you don't want to add too much you only add at places that are very very you know 
important so i'm going to go to side view here and then i'm going to start you know you are going to be using your air as a uh, like a guideline so you want to bring these guides up and stuff so if the if it is an afro or something you might need to push it up or so but in this case the air is not entirely that long in well no in height so just basically i think the fourth option is okay so that's the mid part so when you come to this place this thing that looks like the eye it means that you reload so that you can have, have your, all your how your uh the guy that have generated the air so you can see the strand so basically i did i put the guide at the middle so you can see that even though this thing you know is, is uh, generate the air strands generates but you know you still know that okay well, the influence is not you know the, the influence is not getting to this part of the head it's just basically around where this uh are created so now uh the next thing i do is uh you can try to put the uh density to like five you see how you know increase this thing become so then we are come to primitive attributes here uh i like to put my width to be 0 0.3 or 0 0.4 whatever depending on how your computer is powerful to undo some of these things because the more if you, if you if you put the width to be one the air will be closer to each other and then you probably have a you know very nice and um, stuff but it will not really look uh, that realistic so now if you're working with 0 0.1 you see so when there's a zoom in you be able to see the strand and you see how big they are so me i like to work with uh 0 0.3 um 0 0.3 so sometimes i work with 0 0.3 sometimes i do 0 0.2 uh depending on how the uh how many exigent uh, air i'll be creating in the in the symbol in this case like i have plenty of them so i'll just stick with 0 0.3 so the um point the, the amount of the air this pointing part here uh this is where you can actually adjust them you can you know this is the root and then this is the tail or something i, I don't i don't know what this thing means but basically this is anything you do here means that it will affect the root so let's say we drag this thing down so you see that the root tapers in so but that's not what i want so uh the root i want the root to be the way they are but the tail here or the top it might be the top actually so uh you see now you see the way you see what was happening like it tapers in so you if you know how to control this graph you can just walk your way around it and make it the way you want it to be so that's that's about that so i can put this density to be 10 and then the this is the default color that comes with your uh with your air for maya so it's basically a maya shader which i'm probably going to change later if i have to render with other uh rendering tool or something so but for now I'll work with this so uh to actually be able to uh open the shader for the shader that uh, that came with this you just come to your outliner here this is the uh uh, the air collection just open it and just come to the description here once you select this and then you come to your attribute editor it's going to give you the air shader here which is air physical shader so i would like to just put air temp or something template so this is the color the root color and the tip color you know okay i think r means the root and then the tip is the the, the top so I me mean, i like to just put all these ones down to black 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 and then the, the the primarily uh primary highlight uh, highlight which is uh, the, the specularity uh, me, i i just like to bring all these things down to white and then bring it down so because i'm not be rendering with this it's just for uh visibility here i'm just going to just bring it down and you can see what that looks like by hiding your you can hide your uh scalp too so you see what what this looks like now let's go to uh our modifier here so this is this is the part where things actually get very interesting uh modifier is where you you know you have some things that you can use to uh enhance how this air looks like so now it's just pretty much straightforward like it, it's straight the air is linear it's just coming up there's no um there's no coil or whatever so uh when you to select a new modifier you just come to this one that has the plus here so there are many modifier here and each of them has what they do 
So the first one I'm, I'm selecting is this coil. So when you select the coil, it's a light on it and then you press OK. So you can see what happened there, like suddenly there's a change in now the air coil. So it's not really looking good, obviously, but that's not a problem right now. So now, this makes the air coil, but most times the air does not have UV count. That, that means this air strand, they don't have UV count that can actually make the air coil very well. So you can actually come to your modifier uh, CV count here. I use 50. So when you see, you see that there's a bit of coily, more coil. Like imagine when this was five and then and this is 50 now. So a lot of people don't come to this place to check this and then they see that their coil is not actually working properly. So that's, you have to put that one in your mind that this CV count can, uh, you know, have to be increased. So from coil here, this is the, you know, the scale. When you move all this stuff, you can see what they do basically. Uh, then this is how the radius of, it, like how coily the air is going to be. So you can see that when I decrease this, you know, you, you can see how coily the thing is. So you just play around with this. Uh, but the one that actually makes it fun is when you had a modifier noise to this so when you had that you see the way it just changed imagine if there was no noise you know see what this looks like and then now there's noise so if you increase the density to say 20 and then you make sure that there are less specularity with this you'll be able to see how like you just this I, mean, I like to decrease the specular now coming back to xgen now so you see so under my noise sometimes i like to pull this up so that there'll be noise from the you know roots down to the to the tip and then under coil put radius to be two so this will pump this up and um maybe count to two or something so you just continue to trick this till you get your uh, but basically everything you do is within these two so uh, i like to put my magnitude for my for my but because the more noise you have the better the air actually looks you can see so maybe i will just put this back to one and then you see so the noise and the coil both works together to actually give you a very nice uh you know so you play around with the coil sometimes i like to do uh some some things like go down go up you know i like to do this and then maybe the count to one and then the radius to be two no the radius should be one so it's real time you can always you know use this to To, to your advantage so maybe this is not a good idea maybe i just leave it as the way the graph is but i probably need to move it up so you see so this is like an example of that so um okay still on the modifier on that noise sometimes you need to uh increase the frequency to the frequency is how you know like rough together the noise is going to be like it's going to like make things you know mix together and stuff so you can see how uh, good this is looking already so we can actually get away with with this so this is like an example of how i achieve all uh, you know my coily uh scatada air which is typical for african air so imagine I put this to be 0 0.05 for the width. It comes together and then you know it's more dense, really. So let me let me leave it to 0 0.5 for now. So because I don't want to increase the density, I don't want my scene to be slow. So now the next thing to do is to uh draw my density map. Uh, that way I want uh, I'll be telling Exen that okay this is where I want my air to be like I don't want it to be uh, all over this place just like this one is so I'm going to hide, uh, hide the air strand and then I'll come to my mask this is where the phone is you come to the mask here 
the uh the drop down there you say you create map make sure you're using 50 for the resolution and then you can name it add a uh, density map or something a uh, dense density or dn then map so the name is very crucial then you create so at first it's going to give you this kind of scene don't get scared uh, what I do is from the like this is when 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 you have done that even if this two setting is not popping out uh, you can always come to this place and then click on this brush thing there so it's going to activate the uh, two settings so you can just come to this place and just click on it so this is where you do your paintings and stuff so I'm going to flood everything with black so black means that nothing is happening no uh no x gen air or whatever is going to be somewhere here or, or something so so it's telling me now that there, there's no that is not seeing anything so there has to be like a uh at least a white white means that where you want your distinct uh your x gen air to to be so uh in my brush i don't like to use this sub brush i like this one instead that is going to be sharp and then i like to turn my stroke to reflection so that i can w one side can mirror to the other side so when you when you just paint a little side from here i'm going i'm using my um my templates to you know be the guide for my painting so when you so when you have painted something let's say you paint a little side of this you have to come to this place and make sure that you save so once you save like this automatically xgen will just know that okay this is where you know you want the air to be so you can see what is going on here now that it has removed the air from every other part but it is now here at that portion where we, we paint so now i'll just continue my painting sometimes you can just do it rough rough and you can trim it after all so i'm going to use white 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 for the part where i need the air to be so i'll do the same thing for this part too if you have uh, a stylus this could actually be fun for you and if you're using a mouse you know you can still go okay with this just have to like know how to use your mouse because i'm actually using mouse i have a stylus pen but uh i just use it for some uh, few occasions i'm actually used to mouse big time so you trim the you do the edges you i, I like to do my uh the edge parts first and then i can just fill up the inside and then come later to trim it so i can increase my brush by holding b and then i just fade this uh, don't worry if you didn't get it right at first time so now i'm going to save and then i'm going to come back to this cap here i want to properly clean my scalp so you can use alternate which is going to turn this to black to paint i bet to to remove uh influences you can use alternate like this so So you can do it like this. So I want everything to be as clean as possible. But don't forget that whenever you draw this, make sure that you save the density map. If you don't do that, Maya will just know that okay, everything you painted is not serious. So, so um i'm going to just save this now and then it should just generate my air you see now that if i hide this and then i hide this so you see that or oh, gradually gradually we're getting there so now i'm going to bring all this back now i have to now go back to my uh this uh, uh guide add guide so now i cannot be uh, putting guides where I want them to be like for instance now I can put one here I don't want them to be at first you don't want them to be too uh, close together maybe eventually you can just you know try to put put them in but first you just want to distance them as much as possible so that you will not be having to be creating a lot of uh, guides so i think i'm okay with 
the middle part here so i'll just go ahead and fill this part so i'll put one here by the edge one here so you see that when you had this it changes the orientation so i'm just probably going to make it come out again so um can do that so or well, you can just come to the side view side view is always the way to go so that you can see and then I feel like it's too long so I'm going to so you need all side to be able to determine like now though it's correct but you still need to okay rotation is a bad idea so you can use the top view side view whatever just make sure that you get it right so now let me do this and then you see that we have more air all over the side now I'm going to for this part I like to do some things there put one here uh, put one here put one here because I want it to uh, to taper I want the, the, this to taper so I'm going to delete this one there and then bring this one in so then bring this one in so so by then we'll, we'll come back to uh, we're done we we'll still need to come back and tr trick so I'll put one there I put one there so uh, it seems like everyone I put around there is going to follow the orientation of what I have here so all I just have to do is just adjust adjust and adjust so I want to check every side and see that okay it's okay and um, that's about that so I put one yeah I need to correct that so I have this here I have this here and I have this here so so I think that should do it for those edges area and then I need to put one maybe here and make sure that the orientation is coming out rather than going up it's really really important because it is going to determine the direction of the air in that part so and then I need to put one here put one here put one here and then put one here so this should be good so I think that is that so let me just go ahead and hide my <coughs> excuse me so um hiding my scalp and then the so you see what we have here now so um everything we did at one side you can just select it you don't select the one at the middle you just select the one by the side and then you come to this part which means mirror you just mirror to the other side and then you generate and boom we have our hair so um you, you know i i'm still probably going to be to tweak around especially this part that is coming like this i want it to come up like this so i'll probably tweak that one on my own and this video is already getting to 25 minutes so i'm going to end this year maybe in the le next part i will just show you how and what i did but i'm sure you've learned something from my process here and um we'll just take it from here next time uh cheers guys